When I first started using Google Jamboard, I was pretty excited because it was very different than Google Docs and Google Slides, and that's what I needed. But after using it for a while, I've become a little frustrated because there are some features that are missing that I feel that Jamboard should have. That's when I discovered FigJam, a very similar tool to Jamboard, but with more advanced features and elements. I'd like to compare these two tools with you and let you make your decision about which tool you think is better for your classroom. Hi, my name is John. I help teachers and students use Google products in the classroom. Now, Jamboard and FigJam share a lot in common. They're both 100% free. Jamboard is available through your school's Google Workspace domain. You can create a new Jam activity through Google Drive. FigJam is available free from Figma. Just head over to figma.com education to sign up. 100% free forever. Both of these tools are open-ended collaborative whiteboarding tools. You basically have this giant canvas on which you can stick all kinds of things. You can get started with both of these tools very easily. They offer iPad apps, Android apps, or you can use them right from within your browser. But I want to focus on some of the differences between FigJam and Jamboard. And the first difference are templates. If you want to find an activity in Jamboard, you got to create it. There is no central place to get templates for your classroom. You either have to create your own or you have to know a teacher who's created them and is willing to share what they've created with you. With FigJam, there's a built-in template library with, I have no idea, hundreds, thousands of templates that you can use in your classroom. I have a whole another video that I've talked about inserting those templates, modifying them for your classroom. It's a great, super easy way to get started. Let's talk about tools for just a bit. Both of these products have a toolbar down at the bottom of the screen with some basics, you know, pen, eraser, sticky note, things like that. But FigJam offers some advanced things that I think you'll find very interesting. First of all, one of my favorites is the washi tape. If you're a scrapbooker, you'll be familiar with this colorful tape. And students can use the washi tape to show the connections between things or just make their designs more colorful. The emote wheel is also a unique feature of FigJam. If you press the E key, while you're in the Fig Jam canvas, you'll get this circular wheel with a bunch of stamps. Students can add a star, thumbs up, heart, their profile picture. This is an interesting way to vote on things, to show good job, or other creative ways that you might come up with. It's a really unique thing that Fig Jam offers that I really like. It's really cool. Now, once you've mastered kind of these basic things, you can get into the widgets. And Fig Jam offers all of these third-party external widgets, kind of similar to add-ons for Google Drive. You can do things like add a Polaroid selfie, a timer, and insert clip art and other um, items from third-party tools. It's really cool and a fun place to explore. The ability to link to things is also really great. And FigJam has added the ability to add internal and external links. This allows students to link to one another's sections, again, to show relationships between ideas. You can even add links to PDFs, Google Documents, presentations, any of the Google stuff that you've already created. I know there are a lot of people who love Jamboard and there's an increasing number of teachers who love FigJam. Leave me a comment, let me know what your favorite feature is about either of these tools. My goal is to help you make an informed decision about the features of both so you can pick the one that's gonna work best for you. Another thing you need to think about if you're going to use a tool like FigJam or Jamboard is classroom management. These are both open-ended, unstructured tools, which means things can go off the rails very quickly. I do appreciate that FigJam offers a few more controls and organizational tools that can help you keep your students focused and on task. One aspect of that are sections. You can create an activity, group that activity in a section, and then show or hide that section as you need. This allows you to stage multiple projects or activities, hide them for your students, and then reveal them when you're ready. It's kind of similar to the old school overhead transparency where you would cut the little strips and then flip it over on the screen. It works in a very similar way. Now, both Jamboard and FigJam offer revision history. 
And this is great because if a student says something that's inappropriate or delete something, you want the ability to go back, see who did it, and undo it. Unfortunately, the Jamboard revision history is really challenging to sort through and find what's going on. FigJam's revision history is a little more robust, easy to see, easy to see everything that's going on, and then revert those changes if uh, necessary. One of the common frustrations that teachers have with Jamboard is students accidentally deleting elements from the template. You put something there, maybe it's an image, maybe it's a text box, and then they delete it. Well, FigJam offers a very simple tool, lock. You can lock any item on the screen so that students can edit it. This is very helpful for your instructions or design elements that you want to maintain without uh, being moved. Now, Google has actually adopted a feature of FigJam that I thought was very creative when I saw it. It's called Spotlight. When you're collaborating with a lot of people and moving all around the screen, sometimes it's helpful for you to spotlight who is driving. So if you're showing something, if you're doing a demo, you can spotlight yourself. And as students are looking at their screen, it will follow your cursor around um, on the canvas. Google just added this exact same feature for Google Slides. And all you have to do is click on your profile picture, say spotlight me, and then your students will see what you are clicking on and looking at. It's a really great feature, uh, especially when you're giving instructions. Now the final feature we've already kind of mentioned is the ability to add comments and emote icons. For some reason, I don't really understand, you can't add comments in Jamboard. So if you want to say good job or give suggestions, you can't do that, which makes grading and peer feedback challenging. With FigJam, you can add a comment anywhere on the screen, just like in Google Docs or Google Slides. You can also add the emote icon for thumbs up, star, or a bunch of other ones like we've looked at. Now, both of these tools are great. I will say that Jamboard is really great for very quick, simple collaboration, especially during Google Meet or if you're just doing something quick in Google Classroom. But if you need something more robust, more in-depth, I definitely would encourage you to check out FigJam. I'm really grateful to FigJam for partnering with me to introduce these tools to educators like yourself. FigJam is 100% free. They've committed themselves to making sure that this product is free forever for both teachers and students. If you're just getting started with FigJam, you can check out my entire FigJam playlist up here. And if you're ready to get started, create your first FigJam activity, click the link down below to sign up your class.